What's up with y'all, man? What up? What's poppin'? <laughs> God told me my life would begin at the age of 33, a few years ago. 33 being a master number. 33 being a number of influence. And also the age of Jesus, as y'all would say, past 33. I only know what I know. I'm on this journey, I'm on this path, and I'm trying to learn and open. I'm trying to learn and be open to it. I've been soaking up knowledge and and I'm thinking like, you know, the Masons go up to the 33rd degree. On the lower chart stuff, signifying enlightenment or whatnot. When you woke, ain't no going back to sleep. <laughs> Whether I agree with it or not, life goes full circle. And I'm starting to understand that. At the end of the day, we are intertwined some way or the other. Whether you're a friend or an enemy. This right here caught me off guard. It's kind of like the vision I had some years back. And I was seeing how everything was segregated. Due to race and, you know, ethnicities and whatnot. Racism will never die. It's hard to end something completely because there will always be those new people coming in and carrying that certain belief and also adding new rules and regulations to it. I don't believe in religion. It's a form of manipulation and control. Abandonment issues cause trauma bonding. If you wonder why I'm so adamant about religion, God's world consists of free will. I simply don't agree with it. However, I ask that you stand firm on your beliefs. That's the beauty of life, ain't it? I believe in light and God. And what's up, not what's down. And I attain his knowledge in all and every way possible to get me to the highest conscience. I don't limit my belief in light in one certain thing. I don't fuck with the dark. But to say it don't exist would just be me being ignorant. Something religious people are taught. I came from that. So it happened to me. That's why I speak on it so heavy. You realize you not believing doesn't stop them from sending attacks your way. Anyway, in the vision I saw of segregation... In the vision, I'm sorry... In this vision, I saw segregation, but in this vision, it was light and dark. There was no in-between. So no atheists, no non-believers. I spend a lot of time on the road where I lay my hat. It's my home, but I ain't no rolling stone. If you go back and look at my videos or the shorts that I would make when I was led to start the channel, Ask me for pictures. I don't take any. What I've recorded in this past nine months is more than I have documented in the past 31 years of my life. In some of these videos, you will see I'm out in nature, truly one with the earth. The earth is my home, but the heavens my residence. I love cold, freezing weather. I love throwing those chains on those tires just to be able to have to move. It's definitely a task. But it has done so much for me internally in the way my brain perceives stuff. In cold temperatures, water will begin to freeze at 32 degrees. If it goes up 1 to 33 degrees, the ice will start to melt. I get the image of water flowing like the Ace of Cups card. Like that overflow, right? The water be overflowing. I see enlightenment from it. I see the unknown in this world like a like an infinite sign. Cleo Ra, check out her channel, guys. Like an infinite sign in my mind's eye. What's the number 33 mean? Secret societies aim and strive to hit that 33rd level. This shit is fucking me up today. The 33rd level symbolizes enlightenment. 33 is also a number of influence. God told me my life would start at 33. 
I'm 32. <laughs> and the universe is working with me, opening doors and pathways for me. What a trip. If I told you about my life, you would see why they want to kill me. <laughs> why they've been trying to kill me. Not just physically now, but spiritually as well. Which to me is more dangerous the way I'm living. Like I'm a spiritual being, so I know what... <laughs> Hey, shit happens in the spirit before the shit comes here. So, ain't no one worried about this 3D petty eddy stuff. The constant attacks and work they continually, continuously do on me. As you can see, God, the universe, my squad holds me back. It holds me back and holds me down. It's not working. It's not going to work. It never will work. It's kids met with me. Kismet, do your research. K-I-S-M-E-T. I mean, call itself snitching. Because 33, life path. Number. Okay, okay. Let's scratch that. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. I want to correct. 33, uh, traits of 33 is a creative being, a loving, genuine Pure person, also very tapped in and intuitive, like a motherfucker. I get joy in helping others. The trendsetter, my I add, <laughs> super mother type of energy, very nurturing. 33 is also believed to hold great spiritual significance and power. Y'all know what's good with me. We up there, high ranked and pep and prepping to lead the masses like a true leader, a true king. Numerology is interesting. <laughs> Just like these dices I have on me, they all add they all add up to a seven. And yeah, pretty true. I am spiritual and I certainly move off my intuition. <laughs> I, <laughs> I said it's I just literally saw three plus six equals nine. <laughs> My birthday is 3-9. 3-3-3. 3 plus 3 plus 3. So y'all can get the synchronizations that are happening there. The number of deities in the Vedic religion is 33. The second level of heaven in Buddhism. <laughs> meaning of the 33 gods. Buddha also tattooed on me. So, like my tattoos have predicted my future. I'm not lying to you. Albert Einstein life path number was 33. So was Thomas Edison. Need I say more? <laughs> oh my God. Like I'm having tower moments in my brain right now, y'all. This shit crazy. <laughs> I love you guys.